One of the byproducts of emergency measures, such as the Fed cutting interest rates to deal with the impact of coronavirus, is that savers, those otherwise inclined to take a more conservative posture with their money, are left with no options to get a return on their money when bank accounts and money markets and CDs and so forth all end up being either at 0% or very near 0%. Uh, a couple of different things can happen. First, that person could become sort of incentivized to reach for yield. They can believe that they are not taking on risk when, in fact, they're doing something that has some degree of risk associated with it. That may not be a problem, particularly if they're aware of it. But the problem is oftentimes they're not aware. They're duped into believing that there's some sort of risk-free replacement to what has traditionally been risk-free uh, saving that had some sort of option for them. What we want is for people to be fully aware of what it is they're doing. If what they want is a parking lot for their money with no risk, that the, a saver can just know the money is there, left for them for a rainy day, and the interest rate is 0%, they just have to simply be able to accept that as an option. Or they have to resist the sort of deceiving things that will tell them, hey, we're offering you 2 3% and there's no risk associated with it when in fact it isn't true. The thing the Fed wants people to do is take risk. They're trying to sort of uh, push people up the risk curve by making staying in risk-free investing so unappealing. It may very well be that for some people they say, look, rather than get 0% at a bank account, I'll put a little bit of my capital into some things that offer some degree of fluctuation. That might be appropriate for their situation as long as they're aware of it, as long as they understand it. The thing a saver is supposed to do in a 0% return environment is just be aware of their options and the risks and rewards that go with each one. Let's have this conversation and more at thebonsongroup.com.